everyone. My name is Usman Naseem. I'm a PhD candidate at University of Sydney, Australia. Today, I'm going to present our work on identification of disease or symptom terms in Reddit to improve health management classification. This is a joint work with my PhD advisors, Jinman Kim, Matlu Khoshi, and Adam Dunn. Before I go into details, I would like to give a brief overview on what is health mention classification task. Health mention classification aims to detect whether a text contains personal health mention or not. Health mention classification is a report that either the author or someone they know is undergoing a health condition or a symptom. For example, we can see here in the tweets given on the right hand side in the first three tweets users are talking about their health mention they are describing their health condition for example in the first of users say that i have a headache he's he's, he's using this symptom word the headache to describe his health condition and in the next one uh, this cough i got hurt so bad the same uh, user is describing his or her health condition using a symptom word as cough and we can see here in the last tweet that a user is describing the health condition of his or her grandmother using a symptom word as a stroke. So our task is to identify whether the users have used disease or symptom words to describe their, their or someone they know their health mentions or describing their health conditions or a symptom or they are using the disease or symptom terms in ways other than to describe their health. Motivation. Social media platforms are a valuable source of information for public health surveillance. In data-driven public health surveillance, the health mention classification task aims to identify posts where the users are discussing health conditions rather than using disease or symptom terms for other reasons. We can see here in the example Examples that in the first three examples, user are using the symptom term fever uh, as hyperbolic mention, figurative mention, and non-personal health mentions. And only in the last post, the girl who died of flu sent home from hospital with 104 degree fever. Uh, user is talking about um, a health condition of someone they know. Uh, so our task is to identify the usage of disease or symptom words. Uh, other than uh, describing the health conditions to improve the health mention classification task on social media. Previous studies on HMC, we have divided our literature review into two different areas, existing HMC datasets and HMC techniques. Currently, there are only three publicly available HMC datasets, PHM 2017, which consists of 7,192 English tweets, Tweets are collected using six disease or symptom terms, manually annotated the tweets and used binary labels for HMC. The second data set is PAG, which consists of 12,331 manually annotated tweets into personal experience tweets or non-personal experience tweets. Tweets are collected using medicine names and as keywords, no disease or symptom term is used. And finally, in the HMC 2019, Authors of HMC 2019 extended a two-clause PHM 2017 data set with a new label as figurative mention and included four different disease or symptom terms, 10 in total. So these are only three data sets. All of them are collected from Twitter and two of them, the first two are binary labels and the third one is the three labels, uh, health mention, non-health mention and figurative mention. Health mention classification techniques. Uh, there are mainly four health mention classification techniques. Westpad is word embedding, space partitioning, and distortion. Identified features from pre trained non contextual words by distorting and partitioning the word representation based on annotated lab labels. The second is Jiang LSTM. They used LSTM to classify whether a tweet was related to personal health experience or not. Fit augmentation addressed the problem of figurative mention of disease and symptom terms in health mention classification. Fit augmentation used features from an idiom detection unsupervised statistical learner in a convolutional neural network based classifier. Finally, in Bilis team, Senti uh, leveraged the contextual word embedding with word level sentiment to improve the performance. 
Bile stream sent captured when disease or symptom terms were used figuratively and showed that tweets containing figurative mentions of the disease and symptom terms were often misclassified as has mentioned. They demonstrated that partitioning and combining the context and sentiment improved the performance in the health mentioned classification task. Now let's talk about the gaps in previous studies on health mentioned classification. Existing studies only studies health mentioned in Twitter, which has limitations. For example, tweets are prone to deletion over time. Limited characters are allowed to write tweets in Twitter. Less coverage of disease or symptom terms are there in all existing HMC datasets. And all previous methods ignore the user behavior information and other ways people use disease or symptom terms. In addition to those, using general word representation might not have captured the contextual information. These limitations lead us to an interesting but challenging problem. Can we improve the health mention classification by identification of a target keyword, which is disease or symptom word in our case, and behavioral information in Reddit? In contributions, we construct and release a red health mention dataset, an alternative to Twitter-based datasets labeled across fine-grained use of disease or symptom terms with increased coverage of disease or symptom terms on social media. We propose a novel HMC network, HMC net, by combining the identification of a target keyword and information about user behavior hierarchically for the HMC task. We demonstrate that our method HMC net outperforms state-of-the-art approaches an increase in performance of 11% over the next closest approach, reaching an F1 score of 0.75 or 75%. Now I will briefly talk about our dataset. To collect the Reddit post with disease or symptom terms, we selected the categories of subreddits where members are likely to discuss topics related to disease or symptom terms. We included 15 subreddits from the three domains of daily, health, and fun. In total, we included 10,015 unique posts where there was only one disease or symptom term used. The statistics of our data sets are given in table two. We can see here that we have in total 15 disease or symptom terms and the total posts in our data set are 10,015. We have four classes, personal health mention, figurative health mention, hyperbolic health mention, and non-personal health mention and we have also compared the our data set with previous data sets given in plot table we can see here that our data set contains uh, the is collected from the source reddit whereas all previous data sets are collected from the twitter and we have more coverage of disease which is 15 as compared to the previous data sets and our maximum characters in our data set are 1100 and we have included another class which is health hyperbolic uh, mention of disease or symptom terms in the posts. Our approach HMC net, HMC network is the overview of our architecture is given in, in figure three. Our approach HMC uh, net consists of the following modules is a target keyword identification, uh, a user behavior modeling, and the interfacing layer to concatenate the features using two by GRUs. The overall architecture is given below. We can see here that we have uh, two main modules, the target keyword identification, which contains literal usage of detection and post embedding. And then we have a user behavior modeling in the green box. And then we are concatenating the features of both in the interfacing layer that then goes on to the softmax layer for the final prediction. Our target keyword disease or symptom term module consists of literal usage detection and user post embeddings. Literal usage detection module consists of two steps, computation of literal use of target keyword score, where we first compute the literal use representation for target keyword by using the semantics of its constitutions. And second is the latent directional allocation LDA based estimator to predict the label where soft labels are considered as distance supervision for probability-based latent factor models, where several 
literal usage scores are regarded as a hidden variables and presented over the collection of features. In computation of literal scores, we computed literal usage representation by gen generating a set of semantically related words related to the target keyword, which is disease or symptom terms in our case. This literal user representation is obtained by looking for words that are semantically near in an embedding space. We train BERT language model and added words that are related to the target keyword using COSA and similarity learned from publicly available text A dataset and English Wikipedia dump. Our literal score captured the semantic information of context. In practice, a range of additional linguistic features provides additional insight into the target keyword usage. We explore a probabilistic latent variable model over linguistic or relevant features for target keyword usage detection. As distance supervision, the literal score is incorporated into unsupervised learning of hidden usages. We aim to produce linguistic features to preserve semantic and syntactic similarity. We use three set of linguistic features, for example, the presence of subordinate clauses and part of speech tags of neighboring words. And we also adopt the abstractness feature as a third linguistic feature to health relatedness. For example, that the presence of health related words, we hypothesize that the posts with more health related terms are more likely to use disease or symptom terms literally rather than hyperbolically or figuratively. As a result, the abstractness feature is transformed to domain relatedness and obtained by using health related terms. For post embedding, we to find a flexible and adaptable text representation around disease or uh, symptom terms that capture both context and semantic. We use BERT, a pre-trained transfer language model to obtain post embeddings. For user behavior modeling, we further investigated the user behavior features to improve health mention classification and categorize them into three categories, social network, domain specific, and emotional. In social network, we captured the features, name of subreddit, score of each post, number of ups and downs, and number of comments and length of a post. For domain specific, we considered the name of a disease or symptom term used. And for emotional, we used VAD uh, score or sentiment dictionary for each post. And for the interfacing layer, the interfacing layer augments the user behavior features with identification of keywords using two by GRUs. The output of this interfacing layer is fed to the final concatenation layer that is fed to the linear output for final prediction. We use softmax to get the cross probability distribution and use cross entropy as a loss function. For baselines, we compared our results with the existing health mention classification methods explained previously. And for evaluation metrics, we used F1 score, precision recall, and the custom matrix, which is used in previous similar studies. We use TNFM and TNFHBM, which is the proportion of figurative health mentions and hyperbolic mentions that were correctly identified as non-personal health mentions, that is true negatives. We compared our results with existing state-of-the-art HSMC methods for overall comparison and also disease-wise comparison. We can see that our model outperformed all the previous HMC methods on both overall tasks and disease-wise tasks, especially uh, when we talk about the Bilestim Senti. Um, Bilestim uh, Senti uh, lacked the contextual information in case of a domain-specific task. They also partition tweets on the first occurrence of disease or symptom terms, which can then potentially lose disease or symptom terms information in tweets where the words are used more than once. Also, Bilestim Senti is not a general because it partition tweets based on a keyword which can be cannot be applied to other contexts as our approach consistently outperformed the baselines in identifying both overall and identifying individual disease or symptom terms we can conclude that our approach is robust for identifying the use of disease or symptom terms in health mention classification task we also compared our results with uh, the baselines in identification of hyperbolic and figurative mentions uh, and we can see that our model performs uh, better when we uh, predict the figurative and hyperbolic uh, use of disease or symptom terms. And also in the label segregation, when we merge hyperbolic and figurative mention in one class, in this case, also our uh, method performs better as compared to the baselines. 
In analysis, we compared module-wise comparison and baseline behavior features. In module-wise comparisons, we added each module or feature into our model base model, and we can see that the performance increases, increases each time we add new module into our base model. Since we can conclude that the strength of HMC lies in the combination of the target keyword identification and behavior feature that contributes to the increased performance. And as also we have seen that when we add the behavior features to the baselines, the performance of the uh, baselines also increases. That also concludes that uh, incorporating or capturing the behavior features is very important for the health mention classification task. In conclusion, we proposed HMC Net that combines the identification of target keyword and user behavior to identify the use of disease or symptom terms in Reddit to improve health metric classification. We construct and release a new benchmark Reddit dataset labeled with four types of with four types of disease symptom terms used on social media. Our results demonstrate that our approach outperforms state of the art approaches. The implication of this word includes the potential to improve health mentioned surveillance and other health applications that rely automatically identifying personal health mentions on Reddit. Thank you very much. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me and for more details, please refer to our paper. Thank you. Great. Do we have questions? I have hi. I have uh, two or three questions. Can may I ask? Go ahead. Yes, go ahead, please. Great, thanks. So first of all, thank you a lot. Thanks a lot. Great presentation. Um, few questions. First, do you release the data set and the annotations you you have? Yes, it is. The link is given in our presentation, and we are releasing our data set. Great. Second question, you mentioned that you can count the downvotes. Is it right or you only um, count like upvotes? Because as far as I know, in Reddit, you can only uh, see the total upvotes in terms of whether you, you don't see how many downvotes there were, right? Uh, I think it's upvotes. Probably it's uh, something, some, some, some error, but yeah, it's upvotes, yes. I the number okay. of total upvotes, yeah. Great. And last question. I, I see that you um, combined or took into uh, consideration both mental health uh, disease and uh, physical disease. Do you see any difference between them? Did you consider splitting them into two or something? Um, yes, yeah, you're right. So, but at this stage, the scope of this work was to consider the symptom and disease terms. We are not segregating the mental and the physical ones. But that's a, a very good uh, uh, next stage of future work can be like people can segregate into mental health issues and then the physical health issues or related terms. But um, considering the scope, uh, we, we, we scope ourselves, restricted ourselves to only disease and symptom words, we are not segregating the mental health issues or physical words. So we are not distinguished that from that. Okay, great. But thank it's you. A good, nice, nice, nice feature uh, direction. It can be done. Thanks. Thanks. For yeah. Thank you. Thank you.